The MBT-70 was an American-West German joint project to develop a new main battle tank during the 1960s. The MBT-70 was developed by the United States and West Germany in the context of the Cold War, intended to counter the new generation of tanks developed by the Soviet Union for the Warsaw Pact. The new tank was to be equipped with a number of advanced features such as newly developed, kneeling, hydropneumatic suspension and housing the entire crew in the large turret, and was armed with a 152mm XM-150 gun, launcher, which could use both conventional ammunition and the Shalala missile for long-range combat. West Germany independently developed the Leopard 2 as its new main battle tank. The progenitor of the joint German-US main battle tank program was US Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara. At the time, NATO member states fielded many different weapon systems and these generally lacked common ammunition, fuel and parts, few weapons were developed jointly, including tanks. While West Germany used American M48 patents, it had a history of excellence in engineering armored fighting vehicles, and was known to be proceeding with plans to design, develop and build its own tanks. McNamara regarded Germany as an increasingly important member of NATO, and believed that joint development would yield superior weapons that could be also be used by other NATO members, as well as allies outside NATO. The US armor branch had long been pressing the Pentagon to fast-track new main battle tank designs. Others questioned McNamara's high regard for German engineering, arguing that Germany's collective abilities in tank design and engineering had dwindled and not kept pace with innovations since the end of World War II. Within US armored circles, it was believed that there would be a net technology transfer towards Germany and there was a common belief that the UK would make a better partner. In order to develop a tank that would meet the standards of both armies, in August 1963, Germany and the United States signed a Memorandum of Understanding that specified certain desired characteristics and organized a joint engineering agency and a joint design team with equal representation from both countries. In 1963, General Welburn G. Dolvin, a former tank commander, was chosen to lead the U.S. team as project manager. Dolvin chose GM, anticipating the company would bring more fresh ideas to the table than longtime incumbent tank producer Chrysler. There were disputes over almost every part of the design, the gun, the engine, and the use of both metric and say units in the separately manufactured components of the tank. Many problems with the tank's political future arose. Luchak found support from Deputy Secretary David Packard, who brokered an agreement to end the tank partnership in January 1970. The suspension could be raised or lowered on command by the driver, down to put the bottom of the tank just over 4 inches from the ground, or up to 28 inches for cross-country running. The MBT-70 was designed with a low silhouette, unlike the M60, one of the tallest tanks ever built. The MTU unit could be easily swapped out of the tank, along with the drivetrain, in 15 minutes. In the 1960s the effective combat range of the 105mm L7 tank gun was considered to be about 1,800 meters. Another new feature of the ammunition was that the tank rounds were caseless, i.e., they had combustible cases. The Germans were planning to use the MBT-70 in combination with the Keeler, a tank equipped with a Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore gun. The ammunition load of the MBT-70 prototype seen in the Deutsches Panzermuseum consists of 42 tank rounds, 6 Shalala missiles, 660 20x139mm cannon rounds and 2707.62x51mm NATO machine gun rounds. Two watertight armored transverse bulkheads separated the crew in the center from the multi-ply rubber fuel tank in the front compartment and the engine compartment in the rear. The tank's low silhouette, which could be lowered from 2.59 meters to only 1.99 meters, was also a large advantage. Compared to the M60 tank, the MBT-70 had a lower profile. The MBT-70 was capable of reaching a top speed of 43 miles per hour, and maintained a higher level of mobility than any tank of its time. The tank proved to have better mobility than the M60, it was considerably faster, both in all-out speed and with about three times the acceleration. The German demonstration in Augsburg ended prematurely. Smoke poured out of the tank after the turret's hydraulics malfunctioned. Observers were nonetheless impressed and German officials said the tank was on track to replace all M48 patterns of the Bundeswehr by 1972. The caseless design made conventional tank rounds too vulnerable to water. In order to power the tank at the required speed, a turbine engine was developed for the original American model. Turbine engines need very clean air, and the quantities of dust churned up by tank operations proved problematic. The GAO recommended the tank development program proceed on an austere basis. In January 1970, 
the Department of Defense ended its tank partnership with Germany and committed to forging ahead with its own design. Congress hoped to drive down the per tank cost to $500,000 to $600,000, saving $200,000 per tank versus the MBT-70. General Motors received a $16.5 million contract to develop the tank in July 1971. In December 1971 Congress cancelled the tank in the Defense Appropriation Bill. The bill appropriated $20 million for cancellation costs and $20 million for the development of a new tank program. General Bernard Luchak attributed the high cost of the tank to the difficulties of managing a joint program. Main Ground Combat System, Joint French-German Main Battle Tank to be produced in 2035.